it's a fascinating experience because it forces me to think very carefully about English and how we use it. It's fun to be able to delve into my own knowledge and discover how much I know. You know, the old, the old thing you can't teach until you've, you've learned it and, you know, that kind of thing. And it's fun to be able to dig back into the history of words and, you know, things you just never, ever, ever stop to think about. It's interesting to hear them try and place their culture inside our culture, wherever they're coming from. You know, we, we think of it this way, but you guys think of it that way. And you can see them trying to kind of morph some sort of package together <laughs> that will work for them. Uh, sometimes we succeed and sometimes we don't. Um, certainly get a lot of information about the way you know, other countries um, have, you know, various cultural things about the way they use the language or even a word that they understand perfectly well as an English word. Th and, and among Eden English speakers in China, they use it this way. But that's not exactly the way we use the word here. Um, and then we have had some some fascinating discussions, particularly with my current student because she's a linguist. Um, so we have some fascinating discussions about what happened to the English word there as opposed to the way we use it here. It's, it's fun getting into the language. It's fun <coughs> trying to help people to, to function in a language that you know, has so many different levels of meaning. Uh, I particularly am aware of it with the grad students who live primarily in academic English, which is not the same as television English, it's not the same as street English, and it's not the same as slang. And yet they're hearing it all. So I have to kind of divide up my head and divide up their heads so they can begin to, to function in all those different worlds. The other, other piece of it that I really enjoy is I'm, I'm a his history political person, and so many of our words come out of our, have connotations out of our history and our politics. So I'm teaching a lot of American culture as well as American language, um, which is fascinating for me because I love that too. Um, you know, sometimes it's, it's a very structured kind of thing. Some days it's um, much, much more at a conversational level. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm dealing with students who are really pretty adept at English, so we very rarely get down to, you know, struggling through sentences. And oh, with with some of the grad students, they have brought me job application forms and resumes and uh, thesis synopses to, to at a written form to help them work because. They realize that the written language is not quite <laughs> the way we talk it. Um, so I get involved in that, which is, again, pushing another one of my buttons about writing. And boy, have you got to be flexible. There's, there's, there's no curriculum <laughs> plans here. Um, every day is different. Uh, certainly each student is different. Um, some of them come in for sort of a crash course because they've got a thesis due in <laughs> nine months. Um, some of them are here for a longer period of time, and they're more interested. They've got family here, or, or, or they want to stay here, so their language demands are different. Uh, so you've got to keep adjusting all the time. Um, but it's fun meeting them and, and you know, getting the other side of the world. <laughs>